I'm Susie Wiley, filling in for Margaret all week with Evening's Jim Dever. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> First up, a Seattle magician who has wowed New Day audiences in the past. Yes, recently Nash Fung astounded two of the greatest magicians in the world, Penn and Teller. Now he's preparing for another big show in Seattle. Please welcome back to New Day, Nash Fung. Good to see you, Matt. Good to meet you. Penn and Teller, the best of the best. Yes. Tell us about it. So it's a show called Fool Us? Yes, indeed. Okay, yeah. what happened and what's the premise of the show? And So the premise is, uh, you know, magicians around the world who create their own magic. They try to go on a show to see if they can fool Penn and Teller with their magic. Mm -hmm. Which did is you? probably did not you fool hard them? to do. I did. Well, you can watch it online. Oh, okay, yeah, we have to watch it online. <laughs> <I> <laughs> don't that, it's probably very hard to do because they know so many tricks, right? It is indeed, yeah. But it was a fantastic experience, you know. That's what I would shoot for. Mm, yeah, sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you have for us here today? I got some magic for you. Ready for it? Yeah, ready, ready? Yeah. Is the audience yeah. ready? Let's do it. Good. Okay. So, you're going to make uh, the entire audience disappear. <laughs> no, or, that's my job. Or, could, you, you, or could you maybe yeah, slice you, Jim a little bit? Like a little slicing and dicing. You know what? I'll use Jim actually. Now you ask okay. it. Yeah, come over here, Jim. Okay. Well, uh -oh. So, uh, Jim, when I'm yes. not performing on the road, uh, I have a, a non profit that's kind of being near to my heart in Seattle mm -hmm. called Birthday Dreams. Uh, mm -hmm. If you don't, don't know who they are, they are a non profit that creates birthday parties for children in homeless shelters. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. I've yep. heard of that. And this is a trick I do for the kids and they love it so I'll do it for you right now. Okay. Yeah? Great. Jim, can I have you hang on to the wall above me and can I have you open the bottle? Okay. Just open it. Okay. <laughs> Not messing with you. We'll <laughs> explode. Okay. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> there you okay. go. Now Jim, can I have you pour a little bit of water on the ground for me right now? That'd be yeah. awesome. Okay. Just a little bit is fine. Thank you. Good job, good job. So as you can see, that water is going to pour right out of the bottle just like that, yeah? Mm -hmm. But Jim, I'll tell you what, can I have you hang on to the bottle for me today with your right hand? There mm -hmm. you go. Now from now on, Jim, do not move your hand, do not drop the bottle and stay still. Because if you move even a little bit, the water will go straight oh, yeah, out, yeah? yeah? yeah. Whoa, whoa, but i tell you what yeah. though, today I want you to imagine you can control the water, okay? okay. Everybody help me out, say the magic word, say float. Float. Okay, say it in the English accent, float. Yes. <laughs> that was good. Okay. Watch. Go blink your eyes. One, two, and three. <gasps> what? It's pretty cool, yeah? But I know you're a little skeptical. You think that this might be some kind of physics or some kind of tape blocking, yeah? So I, I'm gonna... I feel like we're going to have to call for a cleanup on aisle nine. <laughs> you might. You might. Because watch this. This is for the skeptics in the audience. Oh, no. At oh, home. no. I'm going to oh do that God. to prove to you oh my gosh. there is no thing holding Holy the water cow. at all. And that was my trick. I have to kiss. Thank oh. you. Hey. Nice. So watch your step what? here, Susie. Yeah. Okay. And uh, tell you what, Susie, I got a trick for you too. Okay. Can I show you something for you? Are you yeah. gonna light me uh, on fire? No, no, no. Right. Get out <laughs> your yeah, way here. Uh, but okay. Susie, tell you what, though. Now to get to know you a little bit, uh, can I borrow something from you? Maybe you, uh, like a driver license would be okay with you? Right, okay. Awesome, awesome, good. So this is Susie's driver license. I show the audience without showing the. Uh, you know, and I have no idea what he's like going to do that. with that. Okay. All right, good. Now, I'll tell you what, though, Susie. Just don't read the weight <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Check this out. Because I, I might have lied on all that. <laughs> That's good. Susie, can I have you go ahead and okay. pop your license gonna, into the envelope right for me? Okay. Just pop it inside for okay. me. Thank you. And we're both going to seal the envelope together, so I'm going to go first. And you can go second. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. That would be gross. <laughs> I'll do that, okay? You got this trick. <laughs> you got it right here, right? Okay. Susie, right. can I have you hold onto the envelope with your license inside? Just like that. Okay. Brilliant. Now, do you know what's the difference between an uh, optical illusion and magic? Um, it has to do with my eyes and what I'm seeing or not okay. seeing. Well, simple answer is they're spelled differently. But um, this, <laughs> this is an optical illusion, okay? <laughs> so it would look like I'm going to take this pair of scissors. Oh, and it looks no like I'm going don't. to, yeah, destroy the content inside oh, the envelope. Yeah. Just you know what it takes like to go to the DMV to get another one? <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Because you know what? perfectly good this Saturday completely shot <laughs> exactly. for you now. This is, is only an optical illusion. Okay. Because before you pop your license into the envelope, I have actually swapped it out with a business card that I taped together. Because your license has been safely in my hand the whole time. Right here with the... But oh, that's uh, trouble. That is trouble. You better have that you better have something else for me. <laughs> um. Well, do, do you? Well, they don't know. That's always the best. Do, do, uh, okay. do you like snacks? This like, is hours <laughs> of time at the DMV. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'll tell you, I I got some snacks for you. I feel bad for you. Do you like chips and, and Coke Zero? They're, I actually they're do wonderful love these together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Since I messed up for you, I feel so bad. Here's some Coke for you and some chips together. Now I tell you what though. Um, remember, I asked you, do you know the difference between optical illusion and magic, right? Right. Okay. I feel like I should do a trick for you right now with magic. Now, can you see the soda can is now empty? Right. Yeah? 
Would it be magical if I can refill it? Yes. Would it be magical if I can refill it with uh, something different? Hang on a second, can you hear something rattling in the uh, can over here? You heard it, right? Yeah. Inside, inside a soda can over here, there is something very important. And I'm going to cut straight into the soda can right here to prove to you and show you what is inside. Folks, check it out right here. Inside the soda can right there, there is a driver's license. Very it's wet so wet license. with soda. Susie, can I have you go ahead and take it out because I believe that is your license right there, right? sticky license. Thank That's you very much. Awesome. That's amazing. Here you go. Are the chips real or are they an optical illusion? They're from King 5, so I'm sure they're okay. pretty real. Okay. Wow. That's awesome. That is impressive. Thank you. <laughs> well, if you'd like to see a little bit more of Nash Bong, his next show is next Tuesday, mm -hmm. April 19th at the Sanctuary at Admiral in West Seattle. And the show begins at 7. Mm -hmm. Still ahead, a local dog's best friend turns out to be another dog. Meet an incredible canine hero after this quick break. Yeah.